Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It is going to be another Throwback Thursday style video. So if you saw last week Thursday, I posted a video talking about a handful of different holiday palettes that released last year. Kind of gave my thoughts on them. Do I regret not buying some? Do I regret buying some? Do I even remember some of them launched? Spoiler alert. No. And this week I want to flash back to my 2020 favorites throughout the year. So I'm getting ready to film my 2020 2021, we're not in 2020 anymore, Samantha. I'm getting ready to film my 2021 Best of Beauty and Worst of Beauty, of course. But during this time, I like to flash back to my favorites from the prior year and just look at everything. Do I still love some of these products? Do I not love them? Have I decluttered them? And it's one of my favorite videos to do. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, before we jump into it, I will hop into my OOTD. Nothing too wild and crazy today. I just have on some jeans, uh, some sandals that say drunk on them from Drunk Elephant, and then just this uh, cozy sweater here that I got a couple years ago from Express. It is extremely dark. It's only about, I think it's just before four. It's extremely dark and it is raining pretty hard. We're supposed to be getting a whole bunch of rain throughout today, tonight, and I think even tomorrow. I'm filming this on... Uh, Today is today, Tuesday? I mean, this on Tuesday, and we're supposed to be getting a whole bunch of rain coming up, so that's going on. I just had a meeting with my bank. Still in the process of switching everything from Iowa to Las Vegas, but today we got all of my bank stuff switched over, and I also got approved for Nevada Healthcare. So good news there, good news there. We're slowly but surely trying to become an actual Nevada resident. So I just got back from the bank and wanted to sit down and film. I didn't do any filming on this look since I was running out to go to my appointments, but I will link all of my makeup down below. I used one of the new Auric shadows that came out, one of the new Smoke Reflex that came out. And I do have a tutorial on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word, using the new green one, as I was wearing that uh, in my prior videos. But Let's go ahead and hop into my favorites. Like I said, I love going through the list and seeing, you know, what did I love so much that I included in the Best of Beauty. And I feel like a lot of these products I still really do enjoy. But to kick it off, I had a handful of Charlotte Tilbury items, which, which gave me a good chuckle. So from Charlotte Tilbury, I had mentioned her wands. I have the contour wand. I have a blush wand. I also have a highlight wand from her. Still love these. Still talk about them all the time. Still use them all the time. My contour wand is just about through, uh, which is kind of wild, but I bought the blush wand, um, was my most recent one. Love the highlight, highlight wand. These were some of the first liquid products that I felt like I could actually use and I wasn't super intimidated by. And they continue to be favorites of mine, continue to recommend them. I also mentioned the Cheek to Chic blushes. I have the shade here in Pillow Talk. I think Charlotte Tilbury does lips really well, and I think Charlotte Tilbury does cheek products really well. From her liquid products to the powder products, this blush is so beautiful, so easy to use, so easy to look just kind of like naturally flushed on the cheeks. A lot of times I describe Charlotte Tilbury and her products as like you but better, your lips but better, your you know skin but better. It's like you look like you just a little bit elevated and i love that about her products and then one that i am wearing today um, is the film star bronze glow one of my favorite products this was one that i wanted for such a long time and i ended up getting it in pr and i was so thrilled about it and i went on to completely enjoy it I'm wearing both the products today this one i use kind of like a contour bronzer shade on me and then we have a little bit more of a subtle highlight but i think that it's still really beautiful i uh, love all these products Still use them, still would recommend them. From Over Cosmetics, I had mentioned my collab products that I did with them. So I released some different cheek products. So we have uh, one of the first products that I released in collab with Ofra was the Start Inspired Highlight. So if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see with the lights, I actually hit pan in the highlight, which was super wild to me because I do not hit pan in a lot of products especially back then, but especially highlighters. That was just, when I hit pan on this, I just remember being so shocked, I couldn't believe it. But uh, this has the two pieces of Pillow Talk and the two pieces of Star Island. It kind of makes your own little highlight pie here. Um, obviously, you know, I still love the, the products that I did in collaboration with them. And then we had the River Bronzer Duo, where we have a matte bronzer and then also a shimmer bronzer. And then also the blush in Chiclet, where once again we have the matte blush and then the shimmer, br shimmer 
blush. Uh, I still continue to wear these products. I still enjoy them so much. They're always out on my bathroom vanity. I post a lot of pictures on my Instagram, like in my stories of, you know, getting ready or my outfits or my makeup. And it's so funny because people will always kind of spot things in the background of what it is that I'm wearing or what I'm trying out. And it's just really kind of funny to get the comments. But a lot of people are always like, you always have your Ulta products so close by. And it's just, you know, when you work on something and you love the product so much and you put so much time and energy and effort into them, like, obviously you love them. So these are always by my side. Also, my Life's a Draft palette. That one's always by my side also. So still love them. They are still available on the Ofra website. And my discount code with them is Samantha. And then I also mentioned the blush from Lawless Beauty. It is raining so hard and it's so windy. Like... This is very strange weather happening. I also mentioned the Lawless blush, and this is in Vintage Love. This is another one that I still really enjoy. It's just a really beautiful matte blush. Again, just kind of one of those that's really easy to blend onto the skin. I will say, I feel like I probably use my Charlotte Tilbury more, my own products a little bit more, but this is still one that I really, really enjoy. I love just kind of this neutral, rosy pink. Uh, I think it's a really beautiful shade. So yeah, I don't know if I would consider it like a tippy top favorite anymore. But it's definitely still one that I reach for a lot. I also put in there from Jouer the Champagne and Macarons of Face Palette. Still really enjoy this one. Still get a lot of use out of it. Have the bronzer, two blush shades, and also a highlight. My bronzer has a really, really big dip in the pan. There's no, uh, like I haven't hit pan in it, but I did hit pan in my Jouer Bronzer Duo, which I was really proud of. But when I bought this palette, I started using this a lot more than my duos that had the bronzer and then my Jouer Blush Duo also, because this was kind of like an all-in-one. I don't go for face palettes all that often, but I like face palettes that have, like, I don't like just a blush palette or just a highlight palette. Uh, I like that I could go into this and, you know, kind of get it all done in there. I think all of the products in here are really beautiful. So I really do still reach into this very often. It was just on my bathroom vanity, so I went and grabbed that out. And then moving over to some complexion products, I actually mentioned three different primers, and I was like, get down with your bad self, Samantha. Three different primers. That seems like a lot. But one of them was from Urban Decay. This is their All Nighter Face Primer, the Long Wear Foundation Grip. This is really one of the best gripping primers that I've tried. I do like the Milk Hydro Grip, but the Urban Decay All Nighter really stole that show. Really stole the show from the Milk Makeup. Am I saying that correctly? It really topped the Milk Makeup for me because I described this one as the Milk Makeup could be a little bit more particular. You kind of had to apply it wait at least 10 minutes to really let it sink in then go in with your foundation otherwise i found that i would get a lot of pilling action happening on my face whereas the urban decay didn't do that it was almost a little bit more smoothing a little bit more on that hydrating type of feeling but it still really gripped onto the foundation so when i wanted to make sure that i was wearing something that would last all day this was a great one to go to. I still really enjoy it. Once again, it was still on my bathroom vanity and I had to go hunt it down. And honestly, like I don't I like I do not have a lot left. Uh so I can see myself going through this probably pretty shortly. I mean I say that and then I'm like really like how how shortly will it be? But I see myself going all the way through this one. I think it's a great one. I also mentioned from Lawless Beauty, this is their Set the Stage Hydrating and Priming Serum. This is one that I kind of forgot about. Uh, I went on a hunt for it. I found it in one of my makeup bags that I haven't yet unpacked from my move because that's, you know, how I roll. And I really want to pull it back out. I, um, I'm i going to do a pan update video after this and then also I need to do a new chopping block video and I think I'm going to put this one in my next chopping block video because I was like, no, how did I forget this? Because I kind of liked that it was the makeup primer slash serum kind of skincare serum in one it felt super hydrating on the skin I felt like all my foundation would go over it really smoothly so I definitely want to bust this one back out and get some more use out of it and then I also mentioned from Ilia Beauty their true skin radiant priming serum once again this is a little bit more of that hybrid between primer and also skincare serum it says firming and smoothing and also aloe infused this was another one that kind of reminded me a little bit of the lawless obviously you have the different form here like this is more of your dropper form but once again very smoothing just this kind of made your skin just look nicer just when you put this on in general it kind of just I don't know, made it look like your skin, but a little bit better. Like you already had an extra oomph going into adding your foundation or your concealer or your powder. Uh, once again, I haven't been using this one as much though. I've really been using the Urban Decay a lot because like I, I like a good gripping primer, especially when I'm wearing makeup 
all day and you know Vegas nights can get long uh, and then also um, my elf putty primer which is in my um, kind of like my unofficial like project pan style type of video so I definitely want to use those two primers a little bit more. I also mentioned from Milk Makeup their Hydro uh, Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Once again, I found this in one of my moving bags and I was like, oh man, why have I not been using this? Because I really, really like this. I mostly use my Urban Decay All Nighter and then my Benefit Super Setter. Those are the two that I use the most often. But I really like this one from Milk and once again, I feel like it really holds on to your makeup. So I'm like, once again, I'm pulling this one back out. I'm putting it in my bathroom. I'm going to do a little switcheroo here here for you know some of the products that I usually keep in my bathroom so it's you know they're right there they're right in front of me they're easy to see if I'm getting ready in a hurry which I am most days I'm just kind of grabbing for those products so I'm just gonna do a little like <laughs> and switch out some of these products that I want to get some more use out of because I really do like that milk spray concealers I mentioned the Pat McGrath concealer this is the sublime concealer I really like this one still it's a little bit more of a thicker concealer but I also really enjoyed this for spot concealing I thought it was really great at that also used it on my under eyes I don't reach for it as much these days uh, I feel like there's other concealers that I just kind of go back to more and more today I have on the CoverGirl undercover which has been a favorite of mine for a couple of years now um, but I still I still really like it and then I mentioned the NARS a soft matte concealer I use this so much if you can see like I I use this so often. This is definitely my favorite concealer for spot concealing, which is also probably another reason I stopped using the Pat McGrath as much because when I go into spot conceal, this really is my number one concealer. I really struggled with terrible hormonal acne in 2020. Uh, it was so bad. It kind of started at the end of 2019, but then all through 2020, I struggled so much. And I saw this getting recommended for covering acne and acne scars. And so I relied on this NARS Soft Matte Concealer so much. I never went anywhere without it. Um, if I was going even just like to a friend's house to spend the night or if I was going out of town, I was always bringing the NARS Soft Matte. It just really helps covering everything and then sticking around for a long time. This is still, I mean, I don't struggle as badly now, thank goodness, um, which I'm super grateful for. And I've worked really hard on my skin the past you know year trying to get it back to where it was um but i still reach for it because i still do get breakouts and i still always will go back to that one from nars and then i did also mention from hourglass i mentioned their vanish concealer i have decluttered that one this was one that i was actually a little bit surprised to see on my favorites list because i remember when i decluttered it i was saying like it's just a little bit more on that drying side I think I, I know why I enjoyed it so much. It was very full coverage, really covered everything. It did something nice to my under eyes, but at the same time, it was pretty dry. So that was the biggest reason why I decided to declutter it because I felt like I had other concealers that still gave me that same outcome, but didn't have that kind of drying feeling. And because I do have more dry under eyes, uh, it, could, it was a concealer that could really emphasize that. So that was really one on my list that I was like, huh. I'm a little bit surprised that made it into my best of beauty. A brow product that I mentioned was from The Bomb. This is their Ferocious Brow Pencil. Now I have brow pencils that I really love and that I've mentioned like every single year. Benefit is some of my favorites. So precisely my brow, the Goof Proof. But I just mentioned uh, The Bomb last year just in the interest of saving time and that was one that I hadn't talked about as much but I still really do like the one from the balm I ended up repurchasing it I want to say twice now and I just bought it I believe on the Amazon website um, but I currently have used them all the way up but that's another one that I would continue to repurchase I think that's a really good brow pencil reminds me a little bit of the benefit precisely my brow but I think it's a good one I would totally rebuy, rebuy that one again and then some lip products that I mentioned, one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is her Collagen Lip Bath, and I have the shade Pillow Talk. This is a really beautiful gloss. It's one that I continue to wear, one that I continue to think is so beautiful. I will have my lip gloss at Declutter coming up soon, but I mean, I know the one in Bathe is not going anywhere. I think it's beautiful. Once again, kind of like, ah! Once again, the kind of like your lips, but better. And then, you know, that glossy feeling without being like overly glossy. It's not sticky. It's just a really beautiful formula. I was very impressed with this. Once again, my love for the Charlotte Tilbury lip products 
knows no end um so i didn't mention those because i would talk about them so much they've been in past best of beauty videos but her matte revolution lipsticks i absolutely absolutely love very victoria is a favorite of mine the lip liners from charlotte tilbury i've always loved those so i know i mentioned those as like a sidebar when i was going through my lips but I still continue to love all of those Another lip liner that I mentioned, this was with Christian Audette in collaboration with Mel Thompson, and this was the Smooches lip liner. So, <clears throat> so I think Mel did such a great job with her uh, collaboration that she did with Christian Audette, and the Smooches lip liner is a little bit of a darker nude lip liner. It's still one that I wear. I don't know if you can see, but like I need to sharpen it um, because it's one that I wear so much. So, I don't... Um, how it just Mel, you know Mel passed away earlier this year and I don't know I guess I didn't expect to like just have tears suddenly but um yeah still a planner that I really enjoy and that I wear a lot I also mentioned my lip collaborations that I have done with Ofer Cosmetics so I came out with the Millie lip gloss I love this lip gloss so much. It's so special to me. Um, it's named after my grandmother, who is no longer with us, um, but her name was Millie, and she loved, loved, loved pearls. Pearls were a big theme uh, when I got married to Mitch. Um, that was kind of like an overall theme of our wedding, and uh, I just wanted to create this beautiful, just kind of pearly lip gloss in honor of my grandmother, and I love it. I love it so much. I have so many Millie lip glosses floating around. Um, this is just one of them that I grabbed, but I have so many. It continues to be an absolute favorite lip gloss of mine. It's sparkly and pearly and beautiful, and I just, I love it so much. And then I also have the liquid lipstick in story. So I did just post my liquid lipstick declutter. If you want to see a crazy declutter, I will link that one. I decluttered so many liquid lipsticks. It was wild. I obviously kept around story, which is the mauve shade that I created with over cosmetics named it story because I am also a published author. My ninth book is getting closer and closer uh, to getting a publication date, which I am so excited about. Um, but I absolutely love this kind of darker mauve shade that we created in story. So it's one of the very few liquid lipsticks that made it past my declutter. I also had uh, some products from Pure Cosmetics that I have uh, since decluttered. One was a lipstick in Trailblazer. I decluttered that in my last lipstick declutter. And then another one was the Girl Gloss. I believe this was in the Barbie collaboration. I couldn't remember if I had decluttered this one because I, like I said, I haven't done my gloss declutter yet. It's coming up next, but I've been pulling all of my glosses together to get ready for that, and I haven't been able to find that one. So I think I probably decluttered it before in my last gloss declutter before I made the move. But I really did enjoy both of those with the um, the lipstick in Trailblazer, which once again I believe was part of the Barbie collaboration. It was just one of those where it was I'm not wearing it all that much as I am with like my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks or the lip products that I just love love so much and I keep going back to and I keep going back to so that's why I decided to clutter to declutter that one and then I think with the gloss kind of the same thing there's other gloss formulas that I just go back to so much and go back to so much so those ended up being decluttered out of my collection but I do remember loving them I had some different mascaras in here one is the hourglass unlocked I couldn't believe I found this one this definitely has to be decluttered I've had it for such a I mean this was what I mentioned last year loving like I know that this for sure needs to be decluttered but I did really enjoy this mascara um, you know, there's other mascaras that I love so much now. I always talk about the Rare Beauty. I have the Lawless Beauty on today, the Maybelline Sky High. I love those so much, so I don't think that this is one that I would be repurchasing. And then I also mentioned the Urban Decay Lash Freak. Once again, this really just needs to be decluttered because it's been open for such a long time. But I kind of want to buy this again because I really did like the Lash Freak. I really didn't wear it too much here in Las Vegas, though, and I kind of wanted to see how it held up in the weather here even though now it's you know 48 degrees and raining and super windy i kind of want to go back to this one it was a very wet formula but it really made my lashes stand out like this was one of those when i wore them in videos or had it in the photos it was like bam like samantha has lashes and i don't really have lashes so i kind of want to buy this one like maybe just like a mini i might throw it in my next sephora order but these are both going in my empties bin right there because I cannot in good faith put them back on my lashes because that would just be bad. They've been open for such a long time. And then I did also mention the uh, Marc Jacobs as at <laughs> the Marc Jacobs at lashed a mascara. I remember I had a little mini of that one. I really did enjoy it. I ended up not repurchasing that one at all. 
um, but I remember really liking that mascara. I think I got it in like a mascara set. Like I buy the Sephora Lash Stash quite often. Um, but once again, kind of have found my favorite mascaras. I don't even know if that one is available anymore either, but I remember really enjoying it too. <laughs> and just a couple eye products to finish off with. I mentioned the Charlotte Tilbury uh, eyeliners. I still really enjoy these. I actually have the green one on my waterline today. Um, the one that has the metallic side and then also the matte side. Charlotte Tilbury has great eyeliners. They're very smooth, very easy to wear. Um, I believe I also mentioned kind of like as a sidebar, the ones from Pure Cosmetics and Milk Makeup, two that I've loved for a very long time and that I've talked about a lot. Still really enjoy those. I still would recommend those. I also did mention the Lily Lashes Lash Adhesive. Now, I don't wear false lashes as much as I once used to. Uh, I really just kind of go with more of my natural lashes with mascara, but that is still a great lash adhesive. I started to get reactions to the Duo, um, right? The Duo lash glue. Every time I would wear that, my eyes would seem to have some sort of reaction. So I switched to Lily Lashes and I think it's really great. I actually repurchased another one and I'm not sure where it is because I think I bought it right before I moved. So it's definitely in one of my boxes somewhere, but again, I don't wear false lashes all that much anymore, but I definitely want to hunt that one down because I think that it's great. Uh, for lashes, I actually mentioned the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. These are some of my favorite lashes. I just grabbed this pair at a Target recently. I saw it and I was like, you know what? I don't have any of these at home. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them quick. I really like House of Lashes and the Iconic Lights are really beautiful. And then I also mentioned from House of Lashes that they did a collaboration with Patrick Ta and they came out with a few different styles that I really enjoyed also. I don't know if those are still available or not. I'll link everything that I'm mentioning down below if there's anything that you're interested in. So I guess we will find out then if they are still available, but the iconic lights, I can see myself just like continually repurchasing those, repurchasing those because I think they're pretty awesome. But other than that, that is everything that I mentioned for my best of beauty 2020 video. A lot of these are still favorites of mine. A lot of these I still wear so often and I would still recommend. There was a few, a few in there that were a little bit of a head scratcher to me and a few in here that I want to pull back out and start to love on again. So this was really fun for me to do. I love flashing back to last year. And like I said, I'm getting ready to do both my best of and my worst of videos for 2021. So stay tuned for that. I am doing Vlogmas. I'm posting a video every single day. So you can check back in the mornings daily for a new video from me. But other than that, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.